why the best is yet to come for a very beautiful man, Israel Folau. 3 John Neal's medals, an Australian try scoring record and a World Player of the Year nomination would suggest Israel Folau's rugby conversion is complete. On his best days, the Wallabies and Waratahs fullback is miles in the air, miles ahead of defenders, and a compelling mix of power, skill and simple joy. But the complete package? Not even close in his own eyes. Fall out at 29, five years into his rugby sidestep, is hungrier than ever for improvement but also determined to find balance, on and off the field. It's kept me on my toes, wanting to get better, and it's a great challenge as well, he said. You don't want to be comfortable and rest on your achievements and what you've done well. Each year is a brand new year, every opportunity to run out there and play the game is an opportunity to get better. I never take it for granted, I just want to make the most of every opportunity. From the mouths of many other rugby players, those sentiments would sound trite. But ask a few people who know Fola well and they will tell you his humility runs deep. I've been associated with a lot of very successful players and he's one who, while he has an ego because everyone has an ego he's very modest, Fola's coach at the Waratahs, Daryl Gibson, said. He's a very beautiful man in terms of where that comes from. We don't see huge entourages and the stuff that often comes with success. That's a really good quality that he's preserved. Follow's wife, New Zealand netballer Maria Trutau, dropped him at training at Brookvale Oval on Wednesday, where the Waratahs were preparing to play the Rebels in a trial match ahead of the new Super Rugby season. It was Folos' first match back after a four-month break the longest time the Jewel International had spent away from football since he debuted for the Storm in the NRL more than a decade ago. I didn't watch a game, I caught two games highlights, but how I get away from the game is not watching any, Folos said. It's really easy going, so it's coffees here and there and spending time with family. And the small matter of a wedding and a honeymoon in the Maldives, and the start of a new chapter for the decorated wallabies full back. The original plan was to play two seasons in the Japanese top league, but then boy met girl and priorities changed. In the end I thought about what was best for me and my body, and getting married was the most important thing for me. Just having that time out to rest and get right away from rugby, Folau said. Also to have that balance, which for me is something that's very important. It's a key thing to any athlete, you can have too much of one side. There's more to life than what we do out there on the rugby field and you have to find balance. I was happy to have a decent break. It was a plan that meshed well with the rugby side of things. The Waratahs and the Wallabies were happy to support a plan that would see their most prized athlete rest his body before the new Super Rugby season, so it was agreed Folau would finish up after the third Bledisloe test last October and rejoin the Waratahs at the back end of the 2018 pre-season. I feel really refreshed physically and mentally, he said. Sometimes it can get really frustrating at times when it's week in, week out, year after year and you're always trying to give the best that you can. That the break came after his best season yet in international rugby, in which Folau scored 12 tries in 10 matches to set a new Australian record, tells Gibson his 62 test back has plenty more to give.
It's a very principled stance in terms of my body needs a rest, even though he was going to turn down a very lucrative three-month stint in Japan, Gibson said. We're going to receive a great deal of benefit of that extended rest period he was granted. It's a good thing for the Waratahs and Australia. It's a view shared by Kurtley Beale, who recently returned from a season in the English Premiership to find his good friend bouncing around the Waratahs team room. Pre-season is always tough but you can definitely see good body language on him, Beale said. He's always smiling and when he is smiling, everyone else is smiling. I think, the break, was a great decision and I don't think we've seen the best of him yet. Folau is pursuing balance on the field as well, singling out his kicking game or lack of one as a key to unlocking any remaining untapped potential. It gives me a few more options within my game in attack, he said. Also if opposition see that's something I'm adding into my game it can pull defenders off and I probably wouldn't attract as many players. And to keep the opposition guessing, instead of always knowing he's going to do this and that. Coach and player have not discussed the plan in depth yet but Gibson, a former All Blacks centre, said it was the same relentless goal setting typical of the best players. Quite often your best players can stagnate because of a fixed mindset to look after myself, I'll do what I've always done and I'll get what I get, Gibson said. But there comes a point where that can get stale so part of keeping yourself fresh is what you can offer others. I think Israel is very much in that stage and wanting to give. Which brings us back to Brookie. In Folos Wildest Dreams as a boy, he was never going to stand on Brookvale Oval in a Waratahs jersey. Rugby was a one-year experiment designed to spark a bidding war among rival rugby league clubs. A halfway house between AFL and the code of his childhood, the code in his heart. It does surprise me. When I first came to rugby, I signed a one-year deal, not thinking about long term, but coming to try to make the most of that opportunity, he said. What clicked for me was those, wallabies, games I was lucky enough to play in the line series. I really enjoyed that experience, and ever since then, the rest has been history. I certainly didn't think he'd be five years deep into playing the game, but it's something I enjoy and really love. Now I'm looking to try to improve, get better as a player.